When I was your age, I moved town once too. Three, two, one. <laughs> Chris, wait. Chris, Chris, get back! All right, so congratulations on the success at Sundance. Like that's been amazing, and the kind of the response from the American critics has been really great to see. It's so positive. Um, what are you guys most looking forward to from Irish audiences? Like, what do you think that they're going to take from it that American viewers maybe wouldn't? There's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a thinker. Uh, like, I think for me, I'm just looking forward to Irish audiences going into a dark room and having the experience of the film, which is quite a tense and, you know, uh, emotional journey, I suppose. So I think, and I think people might also they maybe have a, a very direct connection to the landscape and to the, the tone and the people and the voices mm -hmm. and the places. Like, it does... It, you know, to an Irish person, it's an Irish movie. To an international audience, it, they might not see that quite as much. And um, so, like, yeah, I'm looking forward to audiences having that that direct connection, and then also, you know, going on the journey with with Shauna as well, because it's a very powerful and focused lead performance. It's it's so about the character of Sarah. So, yeah, I think all of that will be it'll be exciting to see how that goes. Just the the way that you make kind of the Irish countryside and the Irish forest look, it's. It's, in itself, it's very unnerving and unsettling, kind of the look of it. Yeah. Um, how did you kind of find that location and how was it working there? Like Working there? Well, you take the working, working bit there. first. Yeah, you, were, you were the one that <laughs> had the harder. Tripping up over twigs and yeah. all that kind of stuff and running through the forest. But then that was everybody, poor, poor uh, Tom and John and stuff yeah. with the camera having to navigate the forest. But um, getting to work in it was absolutely stunning it was beautiful uh sometimes we didn't have the weather for it and then sometimes we did and everyone was in mosquito nets and i yeah. was like hey how come molly and then i was getting bit into bits but it's um it, yeah it was an absolutely gorgeous place to get to work um and y you never kind of got over that even every time you stepped into like a, a like a dirty wet costume you're like it's still so beautiful <laughs> getting yeah. into what it was it was gorgeous yeah it was the the, the forest locations were kind of vital yeah. to the atmosphere of the film um but you said the weather just was relentlessly changing. It just didn't. It just didn't want to be settled. And actually, we shot in July, and uh, we went back to do a couple of other landscape shots in December. And the weather was better and warmer in December than July when we were shooting there on one particular day. But yeah, it was. It's it's got a particular look, and I think we planned it very carefully how we wanted to capture the forest and how we wanted to use. It. And it's mainly just with natural light. We haven't done any major tricks you know it's just using the landscape for what it is working with james like james is a revelation in this mm -hmm. he, he's so good um but for child actors there are already so many challenges but to be scary and unnerving like that's a lot for for a child to bring out how did you guys kind of work with him to bring that aspect of, of his performance out yeah i think i suppose from from my point of view the thing that I keep saying, I've realized in the last couple of weeks is, watch the film twice, go to the cinema twice. That's <laughs> pitch, right? And the second time you may notice, he doesn't actually do anything particularly creepy. It's the context. Yeah. And it's how his performance is reflected off where Sarah is, where Shauna's performance is. You, you had a good shorthand with him um, in the sense that you do like your monster mode. It was very yeah. subtle changes that, yeah. you know, he'd be, he'd be bigger. He'd, he'd kind of straighten up a little more. He'd be a bit more rigid. He wouldn't blink as much. Yeah. So it was like really subtle between, and he's such a pro, like he's on. Yeah, really, uh, like, really, really was. And I think that's the key. The key with this was we didn't just want to make it like, here's a creepy kid. It's like, here's a normal kid and then it's one tick on the clock mm -hmm. and he just is ever so slightly different. And that's that rising dread and doubt that kind of builds up through the film. But there's lots, as you said, lots of games and gimmicks and tricks. And even throughout the film, the more paranoid Sarah becomes about his identity, like different sizes of costume that he wore, so they get smaller. It's very mm -hmm. subtle. These are the games that I played. That I, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so like it was, we were always just trying to adapt his kind of persona on screen, but he's like a sponge. He's like just yeah. absorbed so much information and and challenged us actually he's like eight years old and he'd make you think or he'd ask you a question that you know you couldn't just give a flippant answer that you had to think about and consider like any actor uh, and then shauna for yourself like what was your kind of relationship in terms of 
building character between yourself and James Offset because your relationship on screen is, is it comes across really well and it's so key to the film. Like yeah, and I think that was something that I would have been concerned about. I think I just tried to get to know him as a person first and see like what are you into and see if we have any kind of you know usually that was over movies. Been like oh I like that movie too, but um I didn't want it to be my change to be like I am um you know. I am Sarah and then I, I am the mother. Do you know what I mean? That it was so other. So it was like had to be a slight shift. And I just saw how like my friends um are with their children and things like that. It was like, oh, it's very casual. So sometimes I'd give them my undivided attention and sometimes I'd give them half my attention, you know, uh, that I wasn't always like really focused on I am your mother now, you know. It was great to see your relationship grow as we were making like there's some great kind of you know, between takes and stuff where the cameras roll and you can see the two of you had a rapport and like their, you know, that relationship developed over time, which gave me a lot of confidence that the dynamic was going to work on screen because it's really key to the success of the film. And like Shauna, for yourself, Sarah as a character, she's kind of going through this sense of unease and, you know, self-doubt and mm -hmm. isolation kind of all the way through the film. How is it for you as a performer to kind of switch that on and off and kind of get into that headspace? Sometimes you can't switch it off as much. Um, but I think to it's just having I, that space. And a, a lot of the time I was, it was singular. I was, I was, I was, I was, on, I was on, on my own for performance wise in, in some of it, but I wasn't very on my own with like, you know, you had a crew there to lean on and give you five minutes and, you know, give her a moment over there or Lee would play music and I think Lee had a good <laughs> good sense of when to interact and when to know. She was like, okay, she's getting it. She's in the morning, leave Sean yeah, alone. Just, she needs five minutes. So yeah. um I think that you just learn that as you go along, like what you need as an actor and then what and what you need as a performer. It's like, oh can I'd love an orange. That would help me be Sarah if I could just have a bit of fruit for Shauna. Sarah would be a happier person. You know what I mean? It's just little things like you get to you get to know yourself to switch in and out but sometimes it can be hard and the you know certain things sit sit with you and start entering your life as well and working on this film like there's there's things that there's kind of new things like stunt rigging and and, and oh, stunt yeah. doubles and all that is that then a challenge as an actor kind of getting into your character mode while all that's going on in the background oh big time but we had such an amazing stunt team and the mm -hmm. same i had uh, an amazing uh stunt woman with me or she's absolutely fabulous so um she, uh that was a big challenge that i was like looking forward to and like i was excited by all like the rigging and like how to how to make it look like a like a real thing or like that hurts or whatever it's, it was i really enjoyed that do you ever think oh, i want to do that myself yeah. someday? you did, did in fairness i you was did. like what? we buried you in the, wrong... the ground we buried your head in the ground for <laughs> yeah. real i was like i'm in the wrong job i want yeah. to do that yeah yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> One. I love you, movie. <laughs>